I love to use the pendulum analogy. So you can see all the uh, industry information say, where do finance practitioners spend the bulk of their time? And unfortunately, if you go back 20 years, 25 years, and you know, speaking in my career, uh, I've lived it. You could still have the industry statistics that would say finance practitioners spend the balance of their time and balance could be two thirds, balance could be 70%, actually just in the data wrangling. I collect, I reconcile, I massage, I transform versus spending times on value added activities, you know, analyzing the business, developing insights, making recommendations, helping drive business performance. So Nirvana, the pendulum radically swings. You know, tech, uh, automation, technology, access to data and information. Practitioners can get the information that they need very, very rapidly without all the wrangling and all the work to do that, such that they spend the preponderance of their time on analysis, insights, and helping drive better decisions. One thing that I think organizations can always do a better job of is clearly articulating as part of what it takes to have a successful transformation, a bit of the day in the life of. So the uh, what's in it for me, and that's what's in it for me at all levels of the organization. At the highest level, you know, the executives, they have to, they have to justify the investments and the totality of the investments and go, how is that going to benefit the organization? Cascade it through the organization and say the AP manager or the finance practitioner who processes invoices, or I'm a planner and I help uh, the annual planning process and forecasting and reporting. What's going to be different for me? Having clarity and being explicit and doing it in a visual way to say, how will the world be different as a byproduct of the transformation? A great vision, tangible, as explicit as possible. You need to be able to measure progress against that vision. So what, so when you're at some point in time and saying, were we successful or not? You need to be able to have that criteria such that you can say, we've been successful and we've achieved the goals uh, clearly outlined in that vision. Those are a couple elements. Uh, a great vision needs to be socialized, uh, vetted, and bought in by the organization. So it can't be a person's vision or one group's vision. This is something that needs to manifest itself across the organization with the buy-in, the alignment, the consensus, such that uh, the organization leans heavily into yes. What I'm suggesting is broadly speaking, cost savings can and should be part of the overall value proposition for transformation efforts. But thinking about the people and specifically cost associate cost savings associated with people, the vastly greater opportunity is to have the finance associates and finance broadly take on additional more value added activities as the automation, the optimized processes, the better access to data and information, the purpose built technology transform the day to day activities. So the true value is how you're enabling better decision making. You're enabling better business partnering. You're elevating the financial aptitude of the entire organization as part of these transformative efforts. You're, you know, fa whether faster cycle times, better decisions, the, the whole gamut. And those quote cost savings can result, may result, but that's that's not real what's that's not the predominant element or elements driving the needle when you say, why would you go down a transformation effort? It's not about, it's not about the cost savings per se. It's a little bit of the, the mix when you do an ROI or a net present value or a business value or a, some, some kind of element to uh, justify the investments you're making, but it's all the other improved decision-making, improved business performance, improved resource allocation. All of those other elements is what really uh, moves the needle. I'm going, to, I'm going to bring up several of them on the, a little more on the quantitative side, uh, like process standardization. Um, a criteria or an element of the vision could be standardizing greater than 
X percent of business processes across segments and brands. Another one could be data integrity and efficiency. Eliminate X percent of manual data exchanges. Process optimization, reduce close cycle time to three days. Uh, growth, reduce time to integrate acquisitions by 50%. Another element uh, to bring that vision to life could be elements around uh, cost avoidance. So technology debt. I like to use that phrase where organizations are often hamstrung because they made investments in technology over time and they're like, hmm, we're going to keep we're going to keep throwing some money at it because that's the only thing we know or that's the only thing we have. And, you know, being able to say no, as part of our vision, we're eliminating that technology debt and we're looking for strong targets around you know, cost avoidance or throwing uh, good money after bad. Go slow to go fast at times, as opposed to immediately diving in and boiling the ocean, sometimes being much more intentional upfront and doing the due diligence puts you in a position, say, to have that roadmap and then execute extremely successfully. So do the necessary prep work up front before kind of diving, diving off the deep end into the 10-foot uh, waters. <laughs>